How's it going everyone? In today's video, we have some big news on Sasha Banks now done with WWE, sad news on Naomi's future with WWE, and a whole lot more. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest wrestling news. Alright guys, so for our first story of today, we have the ratings for Monday Night Raw, NXT, and AEW Dynamite. So according to a new report from Brandon Thurston of WrestleNomics, Monday Night Raw drew 1,427,000 viewers and a .37 in the key demo rating. NXT drew 666,000 viewers and a .17 in the key demo rating. And AEW Dynamite drew 950,000 viewers with a .33 in the key demo rating. So it looks like both NXT and AEW Dynamite did see an increase in the ratings, while Monday Night Raw drew its lowest viewership since July of 2021. Next up, we have some news on who informed Shawn Michaels about Mandy Rose's premium content. So just a few days after her shocking release from WWE, more details have now come out regarding what exactly led to Mandy Rose's release from the company, as Dave Meltzer reports in the Wrestling Observer newsletter that Matt Bloom informed Shawn Michaels about the content on Mandy Rose's fan time page, which had gotten more racy as of late. Furthermore, while not confirmed, there are people who believe that Mandy Rose was making more money posting photos and making custom videos for subscribers that contained nudity. Next, we have some news on a New Japan Pro Wrestling star rumored to be in the Women's Royal Rumble match next year. So after Mickey James competed in last year's Women's Royal Rumble match as the Impact Wrestling Women's Champion, apparently WWE is rumored to bring in a wrestler from New Japan for next year's event. As Dave Meltzer reports that the rumor going around in WWE is that ex-WWE star Kairi Sane would be a surprise entrant in the Women's Royal Rumble match next year in January. But because Kyrie ended up winning the IWGP women's title in November, her return at the Royal Rumble may not end up happening. Next, we have a major update on Naomi's future in WWE. So after walking out of WWE several months ago, all of the attention pretty much went towards Sasha Banks. But aside from all of the recent Sasha Banks news, there is now a major update regarding Naomi's future in WWE, as Dave Meltzer reports that originally, Naomi wanted to return to WWE with Sasha Banks as a tag team. But with everything that's happened with Sasha Banks, it is now the case of Naomi needing to decide whether she wants to sit at home, go somewhere else, or return to the company without Sasha Banks. Next up, we have some big news on why Sasha Banks is not going to return to WWE. So in the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer reported that over the summer, Sasha Banks reached a deal with WWE to release her as a free agent instead of freezing her deal. However, she couldn't do anything wrestling related until the start of 2023. In addition, this past fall, she was back in talks with WWE to return, but talks broke down because Sasha Banks wanted similar money to what Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair make. So instead, WWE offered her way less than what she was asking because they believe that she's past her peak as a star and they don't see her being on top for the next five years. So with that being said, guys, that is all of the news that we have for today. Please make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of the topics that we discussed today. Starting off with our first topic, we did talk about the ratings for Monday Night Raw, NXT, and AEW Dynamite. We also talked about, uh, we had some news on who informed Shawn Michaels about Mandy Rose's premium content, which then led to her release. 
Uh, we also talked about a New Japan Pro Wrestling star rumored to be in next year's Women's Royal Rumble match, that being Kyrie Sane. Uh, the other story that we talked about, we talked about a major update on Naomi's future in WWE. And we also talked about why Sasha Banks is not going to be uh, returning to WWE. So let me know your thoughts and opinions, uh, guys, in the comment section down below on all of the topics that we discussed today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.